When unboxing Shopee Parcel or Lazada Parcel, it is important to take notice the box. So tulad po nito, meron siyang UP. Meaning, it was being mishandled. Hindi po natin alam sa station or sa hub. Pwedeng merong catch and shoot na nangyayari or hagis sa loo. Hindi po talaga natin yan maiiwasan. Thankfully, dahil po sa bubble wrap, at least na-minimize po ang stress. At sa tulong po ng polystyrene inside, or popularly known as the Styrofoam or Styropore, actually that is the brand po mga ka-IT, na-prevent po ang damage sa ating Epson L5290 printer. Ito po ang magkita niyo sa loob ng box. The manual, power cord, printer cord, the CMY key, die inks, yan po yung libre na ink, at ang RG11 connectors. And of course, ang printer itself. Side notes lang pala mga ka-IT, if ang order po ninyo ay lampas na sa 10K, I would recommend na kunan po ninyo ito ng insurance, just in case, di ba? Kudos nga pala sa Playbook Store for handling my parcel with care. You have two options to configure Epson L5290. Number one is using the Epson Smart Panel application, which na yan po yung gagawin natin gamit ang smartphone. Number two is setting it up using laptop or PC. The traditional way, yan po talaga yung nakasanayan natin. If you choose option 2, you have to follow this manual from start to finish. Pero dahil we will be using the Epson Smart Panel application, hindi po natin kailangan ang USB printer cord. Ang kailangan lang po natin is the printer power cord. Now, let's remove the blue tapes and start the Epson Smart Panel setup. Now, let's connect the power cord to printer's power port. Makikita po ninyo yan sa likod ng printer. Plug na po natin ang ating printer sa ating power outlet. Press the power button. Now, it will start to load. Then, select language. English lang po yung pipiliin natin. We will be using the Epson Smart Panel Setup. So, mag yes po tayo dito. You will then see a QR code. In your smartphone, install a QR code scanner kung wala pa. Or kung wala po itong built-in na QR code scanner. Iba po ito mga ka sa Wi-Fi scan QR code. Once installed na, use it to scan the QR codes on the printer or on the user's manual. You will be redirected dito. Tap open. Tap the Google Play Store. Install the Epson Smart Panel application. Open. Tap. Tap agree. Okay. Next. Next. Allow only while using this app. You need to share your phone's location mga ka-IT to proceed. So wala po tayong magagawa dito. Next. Okay. It will now start to search for Epson L5290. If you see this message, it means hindi na-detect ang inyong printer. Pero, no worries po tayo. Just stop the create new Wi-Fi connection. Continue. Turn on Bluetooth. Allow. Now searching for a printer. Tap your printer. Yes. Tap next. Minsan, you have to tap next twice. Ganon talaga yun. Tap your printer again. And yes. If you encounter this error, just tap next until you see this message. Next. Kapag nakita ninyo ito ulit, just tap select create new Wi-Fi connection. Select either tiles or cards. So, I selected tiles, mga ka -IT. Pero, ganun pa rin. The product is not detected or selected. This is my actual experience when I tried to set up Epson L5290 printer using the Epson Smart Panel application. 
hindi po smooth ang nangyayari. So, you may encounter this same scenario. At this time, I decided to rescan the QR code again and open the Smart Panel application. Searching for the printer again. Tap to a new Wi-Fi connection. Continue. Tap the L5290 series. Yun, parang na-detect na po yung ating printer. Yes lang po natin. Continue. 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 Select the date format. And the time format. Now, it's about time to fill our ink tank. Let's start with the black ink and then followed by the colored ones. Make sure na tama po ang color ng ink according sa ink tank color description. Actually, makaiti, uh, hindi naman po kayo magkakamali dito dahil iba-iba po ang nozzle pattern ng each color ng ink bottles ng Epson. Once na-fill na po lahat ng colors, close na po natin ang ink tank and tap yes. Napansin po ninyo mga ka-IT na tinanong naman po tayo ulit to make sure na meron talagang ink ang ink tank. Dahil kung wala, pwede po itong ikasisira ng ating printer. E sayang naman bago yung printer natin, di ba? So, which is good naman. Just tap yes again and start. This will start the ink initialization. We will wait for about 11 minutes. So, habang inihintay po natin ang ink initialization, tap lang po natin continue. Yes. Choose an SSID and tap yes. Maraming next to. Next. 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 Yes. Next. Type the Wi-Fi password. Okay. Yes. Now, connected na po yung printer natin sa ating Wi-Fi. Ang gagawin na lang po natin is hintayin kung kailan matapos ang ink initialization. Once the initialization is done, dito naman po tayo sa printer's control panel. Tap OK. You can select adjust later or adjust. So, I selected adjust po dito mga KIT dahil excited po tayo, no? And then print. So, you have to load an A4 size plain paper or bond paper sa printer po natin. Then, press this button to print. That is the result ng ating nozzle check mga ka-IT. Uh, not perfect at sa nakikita po ninyo may bahid ang ink sa gilid ng ating papel. Kaya make sure po mga ka na wala pong folded part ang yung papel na ginamit to print or inigusot-gusot para maiwasan po ang ganitong issue. At syempre, para hindi din madaling masira yung ating printer. On my second try, well, the result is now good. Now, let's try to print. Gamit ang ating Epson Smart Panel application. So, tap lang po natin ang print. Print photos muna tayo. Select lang po ninyo ang photo or picture na gusto po ninyong i-print. Tap print. Dito, you can change the paper size print quality, black and white or colored, and etc. So, kung okay na po lahat, tap done, and print. There you go mga KIT, ang ating panda. Now, document naman po ang i-print natin. Tap print, print documents, Select the document na gusto po ninyong i-print. Tap print. Kung okay na ang lahat ng settings, tap start to print. Wait, cancel ko muna. So, tap the printing range. I tap minus sa end page until na ang value po nito ay naging 1. Para isang page lang po ang ma-print natin. Test print lang naman to is high naman po yung ink at yung papel. Ang nangyayari po dito mga kahit is we print from page 1 to page 1. So, pwede po natin yung gawin dito sa Epson Smart Panel application. So, done. Start. Yan na ang ating 
document na na-print. Actually mga kahit marami ka pang pwedeng gawin dito sa Epson Smart Panel application. Pwede ka mag-scan dito, mag-photocopy, and even do maintenance like print heat cleaning at marami pang iba. Pero what if na-turn off mo ang inyong printer? At na-disconnect na ang phone mo sa Wi-Fi. Ano na ang mangyayari sa Epson Smart Panel application? Ang una po ninyong gawin mga kaiti is to connect your phone sa inyong Wi-Fi. So open, then open the Smart Panel application. You will see this. So meaning, hindi pa connected ang Epson Smart Panel application sa inyong Epson L5290 printer. So to connect, tap the plus icon. Create new Wi-Fi connection, continue, turn on Bluetooth, allow, select Epson L5290, next, select Epson L5290 again, I'm not sure kung bakit pa ulit-ulit. Oh, so now proceed to Wi-Fi connection settings, next, make sure na kukunik ka sa same Wi-Fi or sa same Wi-Fi name or S. SSID kung saan connected ang inyong phone. So, dapat uh, kung matagal ka na po sa channel ko mga ka-IT, naintindihan mo na po ito. So, dapat they are on the same network or on the same subnet. Ngayon, tap yes. Next. Next. Yes. Next. Now, type your Wi-Fi password. Wait until the Wi-Fi settings is complete. Yun! Wala nang exclamation mark. You can now use Epson Smart Panel application to print photos, documents, and other things like scanning and photocopy sa inyong Epson L5290 printer. Pero worth it ba talaga itong bilhin ang Epson L5290? Maglalagay po ko ng video dito. 